Nematodes, or roundworms, are traditionally regarded as the phylum Nematoda. Nematodes are considered one of the most diverse of all animal phyla. The nematode species can be difficult to distinguish, and over 25,000 different species have been discovered. By some estimates, there's still about a million that are yet to be found. Out of the 25,000 species that have been discovered, well over half are parasitic. Nematodes are considered to be some of the most ubiquitous animals. Roundworms can be found in most aquatic habitats, in the soil, in the tissues of a lot of plants, and also in the body fluids and tissues of most animals. The cylindrical bodies of a nematode can range from less than one millimeter to more than one meter in length. The body of a nematode, which is long and narrow, often resembles a tiny piece of string. The word nematode actually comes from a Greek word, nema, which means thread. These bilaterally symmetrical worm-like organisms have a rather unusual body because unlike most other animals, their skin, or epidermis, is not composed of cells, but rather a mass of cellular material and nuclei without separate membranes. This is called the cuticle. It is tough and flexible. As the worm grows, it periodically sheds its old cuticle and secretes a new, larger one. Because nematodes lack a circulatory system, nutrients are transported throughout the body via fluid in the pseudocelum. Nematodes move by contraction of the longitudinal muscles. Because their internal pressure is high, this causes their body to flex rather than flatten, and the animals move by thrashing back and forth. There are no cilia or flagella present. Nematodes usually reproduce sexually by internal fertilization. This often takes place when a male uses special copulary spines to open a female's reproductive tract and inject sperm into them. Female may deposit 100,000 or more fertilized eggs per day. Sperm are unique in the fact that they lack flagella and move a lot like amoeba. The zygotes of most species are resistant cells that can survive very harsh conditions. It is also worth noting that in most species, the males are smaller than the females. Nematodes are incredibly abundant. Nematodes have colonized nearly every conceivable habitat on Earth. Some nematodes are also extremely habitat specialists. For example, there's a certain type of nematode that only lives in the placenta of sperm whales, and there's another type that only lives in the right kidneys of minks. Not only can nematodes be found almost anywhere on Earth right now, Fossilized evidence shows that they can date back to over 300 million years ago. While many types of nematode live in moist soils and decompose organic matter at the bottoms of lakes or oceans, plenty are parasitic. Parasitic nematodes have an extraordinary molecular toolkit that enables them to redirect some of the cellular functions of their hosts and thus evade their immune systems. Some attach to the roots of plants while others attach to the stomachs of humans. According to some reports, nearly half the world's population is impacted by parasitic nematodes. These free-living worms play an important role in decomposition and nutrient cycling, but little is known about most species. It has even been said that if nothing but nematodes remained on Earth, they would still preserve the outline of the planet and many of its features.